Welcome to Noga Ambulance Services 2015 Hazard Communication in Service. OSHA requires that employers notify employees of any hazardous material they are working with at their facilities. This is accomplished in three ways. The first is to develop a written program. Second is to provide employees with material data safety sheets or MSDSs. And third is to develop a container labeling program. All chemicals available to employees of Noga Ambulance Service are of household use. This simply means all of our chemicals are purchased and used just as you would at home. Following the manufacturer's recommendations to ensure safe handling of the chemical is all that is required. The written program is available in the SOG binders at all stations and by contacting the HR department. If a chemical is supplied and stored in the manufacturer's original packaging, the label provides all the information required to locate the MSDS and properly use the product. However, if the chemical is not supplied or stored in the manufacturer's packaging, we must add our own label. Labels list the chemical name, common name, manufacturer's name, and hazard rating on the MSDS. They are designed to provide you with the information you need to safely handle the chemical and locate the MSDS. If you notice any container not properly labeled, please contact Luke DeRosa to obtain the proper label. Noga Ambulance Service uses the Hazard Material Identification System to provide a standard labeling system for all chemicals not stored in manufacturer's packaging. The scale is from 0 to 5, with 5 being the most severe. H stands for health hazards, F stands for flammability rating, I for instability of the chemical, and PE for the personal protective equipment required during the use of the chemical. This information is available on reference posts located at each station in garage bay number one. MSDSs are located in the right to know information station at bay one at each facility and also in the HR office. The MSDS contains all the information you need to safely work with the chemical and the first aid procedures should you require medical treatment due to an adverse reaction to the chemical. The information that goes on the label is obtained directly from the MSDS. The MSDS also instructs us on the proper handling and storage of each chemical. Please take the time to familiarize yourselves with the right to know stations at each facility. Each facility is also equipped with an emergency eye wash station located in Bay 1 at all garages. It is important to remember that oxygen is a key component in fires and compressed gas contains a lot of potential energy. By keeping the oxygen organized and free from smoking or open flames, we reduce the chance of a serious safety incident when working with compressed gas. When moving oxygen tanks, Please be sure to always use the supplied carts and keep the tanks chained. This year we have switched to smaller tanks to make loading and unloading them easier. However, the carts still need to be utilized when moving tanks to and from the ambulance. It is important to practice good general housekeeping. By cleaning up spills immediately, keeping clutter to a minimum, and providing full access to fire suppression equipment. Any chemical with a flammable rating of plus 4 is stored in a flammable storage cabinet. These cabinets are located at each station. It is important not to smoke, place heaters, or open flames around the flammable cabinets. Both of the pictures are simply unacceptable. Unsecured oxygen in a moving vehicle is a serious safety hazard and will lead to disciplinary action, including termination of employment. The potential energy of compressed oxygen gas cannot be underestimated. The devastating results of a portable oxygen tank discharging in the back of an ambulance. We must secure oxygen tanks on every trip and at all times. All ambulance and wheelchair employees of Noga Ambulance Service are affected employees under the lockout tagout program. This simply means that you must never bypass a lockout tag on a vehicle or piece of equipment. The lockout tag is in place to ensure the device is not re-energized, causing serious injury or death to the authorized employees working on the device or to any bystanders who may be in harm's way. All authorized maintenance employees undergo separate lockout tagout training. This includes the 2015 Hazard Communication In-Service. 
If you have any questions, please contact your supervisor.